Hello, and welcome to the Motor City, the birthplace of Motown, and home of the world-famous Kami Island hot dogs. But jokes aside, Detroit is a city with a rich history, diverse culture, endless opportunities, and a bright future, and it has a lot to offer for those looking to call it home. If you're moving to Detroit for the first time or just looking for a new neighborhood, we've got you covered. Whether you're looking for a peaceful neighborhood, a lively atmosphere, or a budget-friendly option, Detroit has something for everyone. So buckle up, grab a coney, and let's explore the best places to live in this great city. Green Acres Coming at number 8, Green Acres is a vibrant and affordable neighborhood located in the northwestern part of Detroit in Wayne County. Known for its affordable homes, spacious parks, and lively atmosphere, the median household income is around $77,294 and the population of around 2,182 residents. It's a great place to live if you're looking for a budget-friendly neighborhood with plenty of amenities. There are around 1,000 unique homes in this tree line. Some even date back to the 1940s and still have stained glass windows, as well as fireplaces that are made from natural materials. The median home value here is around $199,225, and the median rent is around $1,262 per month. This Detroit gem is not only home to a thriving residential neighborhood, but also to a bustling business district on Livernois Avenue. If you're interested in a place with strong values and local pride, then Green Acres may be the place for you. Our next destination is Indian Village, located on the opposite side of the city. Many of the houses here were designed by renowned architects such as Albert Kahn, Lewis Camper, and William B. Stratton. The Colonial Style House at 1470 Iroquois Street, which was sold for $1.3 million, is an eight-bedroom, six-bathroom, 6,300-square-foot 6 dwelling that looks strikingly similar to Kevin Callister's home in the movie. The largest homes are between 12,000 to 15,000 square feet, which is quite impressive. If you plan to reside in Indian Village, anticipate spending $400,893 or more. However, if you have a more generous budget, the historic Book Mansion, spanning 14,000 square feet, is currently available for purchase for a hopping $3.5 million. The typical monthly rent is roughly $1,053, while the average income of its residents is around $100,755. Indian Village is a historic and picturesque neighborhood located in the eastern part of Detroit. Known for its large homes, lush parks, and charming atmosphere, a great place to live if you're looking for a beautiful and peaceful neighborhood. Moving on Arden Park, which is situated at the eastern edge of the Boston Edison neighborhood, appearing like a lengthy, hot dog-shaped locality on the map. Known for its large homes, tree-lined streets, and lush parks, it's comparatively smaller, comprising just 92 homes. However, these homes are spacious, lavish, and occupy bigger lots. If you're considering settling in Arden Park, be ready to invest $500,000 or more, as this community is one of the priciest in Detroit. The median home value here is around $206,000, $800 and the median rent is around $889 per month, and the median income is around $30,613. A 9,200-square-foot Italian Renaissance-style mansion, built in 1914, was sold for a staggering $1.1 million last year, making it the most expensive sale, yet not the priciest on this list. Sherwood Forest. Located in the western part of Detroit in Wayne County, Sherwood Forest is another one of Detroit's finest neighborhoods if you're looking for a suburban feel in the city. Known for its large homes, spacious parks, and family-friendly atmosphere, 
With a population of 1,068, the median household income is around $137,999 per year. Around 440 single-family homes are located here, primarily built in the 1920s and 1930s. Most of them have been maintained well over the years. In 2002, the neighborhood was designated as a Detroit Historic District. Compared to many other parts of Metro Detroit, the median home price here is quite affordable at around $358,329, putting it right in the middle of the pack. And the median rent is around $1,063 per month. Many retirees choose the community, as it offers a quieter, more relaxed lifestyle. Cork Town. It's one of Detroit's oldest and most historic neighborhoods. Known for its Victorian homes, tree-lined streets, and lively pubs, Cork Town is a great place to live if you're looking for a charming and eclectic atmosphere. With a population of around 1,067 residents, the median income is around $64,629. There is a wide variety of apartment options available in Corktown. The median home value here is around $343,941, and the median rent is around $1,835 per month. You will find the tastiest sandwich in town at Mudgee's and visit the cutest collection of mixed-era buildings. While Michigan Avenue is a popular tourist attraction, it is just one part of Cork Town's appeal. University District If you're a student or a young professional, the University District might be the perfect place for you. Located near Wayne State University, this neighborhood is known for its vibrant and youthful atmosphere. With a population of around 4,033 residents, the district is a diverse, friendly, and proud neighborhood with palatial architecture and elaborate marble and stone facades. There is also Detroit Golf Club within walking distance. It's ideal for students, retirees, and other city dwellers looking for a quieter city lifestyle with access to quality amenities. As one of Detroit's more affordable neighborhoods, the district has a median house value of $270,664, while the median rent is around $895 per month, and a median household income of about $104,140. Some locals refer to Livernois Avenue as the Avenue of Fashion as there are boutiques there, while others refer to it as Gallery Row because there are many art galleries. If you like having the freedom of driving yourself to work and avoiding public transportation, you're in luck. Most residents commute by car. Next up is downtown Detroit, the heart of the city, and it has transformed almost overnight from a sleepy retail and business area into an affluent city center with new apartments continually being constructed in both historical and modern buildings. If you like to live with the beat of the urban landscape and don't like to drive, there's no better place to live. Downtown Detroit is a bustling neighborhood with a population of around 7,000 residents that's perfect for those who love city life. The median home value here is $499,000 and the median rent is about $1,211 per month. There are event spaces, restaurants and pubs all over the city and along the riverfront. There are some of the best parks downtown, including Spirit Plaza, Cadillac, and most museums like the Detroit Institute of Arts. Okay, now let's move on to our next destination, which is the first place on this list, Palmer Woods, one of Detroit's most prestigious neighborhoods. Located in the northern part of the city, known for its beautiful homes, spacious parks, and peaceful streets. This neighborhood is perfect for families, with a population of around 704 residents. This historic neighborhood is renowned for its Elm Lion Street, where you can find some of the most stunning brick and stone homes in the city. 
The majority of these homes are designed in the Tudor Revival style, which gives them a unique charm and character. And let me tell you, the homes are not only beautiful, but also quite sizable. In fact, the lowest home sale price here in the last year was just under $436,600, and the median rent is about $1,211 per month. Yep, not exactly pocket change, folks. And the most expensive sale was a whopping $4.9 million, which actually broke the record for the highest sale in Detroit history. That's some serious dough, but hey, if you can afford it, why not? The house that sold for that price was the famous Fisher Mansion, which boasts over 15,000 square feet of living space. That's a lot of room to stretch out. So, what do you think? Would you consider moving to one of these beautiful neighborhoods? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in exploring some of the best places to live near Detroit, check out my other video, which I'll link here. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. In the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you at the next one.